In this tutorial, we are going to be looking into basic data entry in Excel. So we're going to start by adding text and then numbers. So I already have the months of the year here, and I want to know what my income, expenses, and profit for each month of the year was. I have it in paper, but I need to type it to Excel. To start the data entry, I select the cell where I want the data to be. So in this case, I want my income to be in A2. So I click on it. And then I start typing income. To leave, then this is our active cell. To leave our active cell, I have two main ways. The first one is to click on enter or return. And this will take us to the next cell immediately below it. Let's go back to it. The next way of leaving the cell is by clicking tab and it will take us to the cell immediately to the right. And to navigate cells, I can also use my arrow keys. So left, right, up, and down. Okay, now we're in A3. Here I want my expenses. I'm gonna tap return again. And on cell A4, I want my profit. tab to leave it and go to the right. Now I notice that I made a mistake. There is, there is a misspelling. Instead of profit, I wrote profit. So to edit that, I have a few ways. The first one and the simplest, I just click on the cell and I start typing over it. There is no need to delete it. I just type, I just start typing again. So profit, I press return and I leave the cell and I go to the next one immediately below it. The second way to edit it is to come and click on it. So double click. And here you can delete what's written and write again. Press return. Another way of editing a cell, so let's go back to profit again. I click on it and I'm gonna see the text on our formula bar here where I'm indicating with the mouse, so I can edit in here as well. Again, to leave the cell, I click either on Enter, Return, or Tab. I click Tab in this case. And that's our text entered. Now let's start entering our numbers. So in January, I made $600. In February also I made 600. In March I made 550. Now note, and this is always the case, automatically text gets aligned to the left. So you see all of my text is aligned to the left. See the amounts also. And all of the numbers get aligned to the right. If I were to type a number here, say I want to enter uh, 430 here, but instead of zero, I add an O. So let's put an O in capital. It gets aligned to the left because my spreadsheet is reading it as text rather than number. So to edit it, I just come and I type over 430. To edit the numbers, it's exactly the same way in which we edited the text. We click on it and we simply type over it. We double click or we click and we add it on the formula bar.